Hi guys, in this session we'll discuss about pie charts and donut charts. These charts are commonly used for comparing proportion totaling 100%. See, you can observe there is a pie chart and a donut chart. So in the pie chart, you can display only one data series values. Whereas in the donut chart, you can add multiple data series values. So just you can take more than one level. Look at there. Just there are two levels like this. You can take multiple levels in the donut chart. If you don't know much about donut chart, there is no problem because these charts also very simple. Some examples are we'll use uh, these charts for percentage of budget spent by department, proportion of internet users by age range and breakdown of site traffic by source. These are the examples for pie chart and donut chart. There are pro tips. So in this first pro tip is keep the number of slices small. We need to take fewer slices. That means less values. So if you are taking less than six slices, you can maximize readability. You can understand very easily. And second pro tip is use a donut chart to visualize more than one series at once. See, in the pie chart, you can take only one series of values. In the donut chart, you can take multiple series values. Or you can use transparent segments to create a custom race track visualization also. We'll see pie and donut charts in this session with an example. Look at there. There is a data category like apparel, electronics, toys and games, housewares. In that cost, revenue and revenue gap, revenue target percentage to target. So these are the values. Now we'll create first pie chart. See just I'm selecting this category and cost. Go to the insert. Go to this pie chart. Select simple 2D pie chart. Look at there. Just we got the pie chart. Now we'll add the values, just right click, add data labels. And if you want to do any formatting, you can do formatting also. Just right click, format, data, labels. And so what are the labels you want? Just you can select. I don't want value, I want percentage, remove the value, show leader lines also. So just I've taken percentages for this and uh, we need center and go to the home tab say bold increase font look at there just we created a pie chart for this then you can apply the 3d format also go to the 3d format look at there just you can select 3d format how you want and you can increase the size also look at there go to this uh, series options in this, uh, you can slice, uh, see, angle. You can take the angle also, look at there. And you can do the explosion also, just look at there. We'll do explosion also. And you can separate one part. First, select this. See, all the slices are selected. Now, again, click on this, only this slice. See, only this was selected. Just, you can move. Okay. So you can do this kind of formatting for this pie chart also. Control J. Now we'll create donut chart. Same, just select this, copy and paste. We are creating a duplicate chart. Right click on the chart, change the chart type. So this time I'm selecting this fifth one, donut chart. Okay, look at there. We got the donut chart now. For this uh, donut chart also, so uh, what are the labels you want, you can change. Just right click on this format data labels. This time I need that name, series name. Remove the percentages. Locate there. And if you don't want, just select this. Go to the 3D format. Select no people. Locate there. Now, in this, uh, you can add another data series also. Just right click, select data, add series name, select the revenue, and series values, select the sales from C2 to C5, 
say okay then okay so for this also just right click add data labels i just right click format data labels select the series name remove this values now we'll reduce the donut hole size look at there so that we can display this uh, labels very clearly so normally this uh, labels are showing multiple times so i don't want all the things select one delete 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 so i'm here also select delete delete and delete so for this also you can increase the font size say bold same like this cost and if you want you can apply the color different color also like i'm taking white color for clear visibility and what are the changes you required you can do for this uh, for example i want to show this uh, uh, with a less transparency so just select this go to the fill color fill solid fill and take the transparency 50 percent select this again fill solid fill select this orange color same transparency 15 so like this for every individual slice just we'll select all the things now you can uh, increase the size of this chart also look at there if you want just you can add the chart title also for this uh, so based on these uh, categories we are showing cost and revenue see if you want add this revenue for this pie chart also just right click select data add series name revenue series values c2 to c5 okay look at the in the pie chart so after adding this uh, revenue to the pie chart nothing will happen because uh, the pie chart it can display it can show only one data series you cannot add multiple data series to the pie charts uh, so that's why just we are taking this uh, donut charts uh, so in the donut chart you can add multiple data series also and you can do what are the formats you want for this uh, data series so just select this you can increase uh, bold in this uh, you can fill different colors so 3d formats so labels so so what are the changes you need to do you can do all the changes for this donut chart also